Lewis Ferdinand Celine, Journey to the End of the Night. What could you say about a book so profoundly exhilarating where the prose just, the narration takes you on a journey to the end of the night. And this was Lewis Ferdinand Celine's first novel, first published in 1932. Lewis Ferdinand Celine. Born 1894, died 1961. French novelist and physician. Okay, and this is this book is in my top three novels. Top my my bet my best top three novels I've ever read. No. Ferdinand Bardamu, okay, who is obviously a semi-autobiographical character based on the actual author Louis Ferdinand Celine. This book will this book takes you from the battlefield of World War I to French colonial Africa. Okay? From French colonial Africa across the Atlantic to Manhattan, New York City, to Detroit, to industrial Detroit, where the protagonist gets a job as an assembly line worker in an industrial motor factory, Ford Motor Company in Detroit, and then back to Paris again, where the protagonist is working as a physician. Now, this book explores, amongst other things, uh, what the, the, the author's misanthropic views of the hypocrisy of the society he lived in, the idiocracy of the society he lived in. Okay? He's disgust and he's revolt at what he saw going on around him. Okay, here is a man who was not afraid to make fun of his fellow French countrymen, or himself. Now, this book is jam-packed with cynical humour, okay, satire, debauched relationships between men and women. It is a journey in every sense of the world, in every sense of the word, sorry, my, my, my correction on that. Um... If you haven't picked up a Louis Ferdinand Celine book before, he also wrote Death on the Installment Plan. This book has been... This book and this author have been mentioned in so many other novels by um, the likes of Charles Bukowski. Jim Morrison was a huge fan of Louis Ferdinand Celine. Um, he, he, won a, he won a literary prize as well for this novel. Um, not I don't off the top of my head. I'm not I'm not sure which prize he did win. I think it was a French a French um, it was a French um, award he won for the book. But the bar, the, the protagonist Bardamu Ferdinand Bardamu and his roller coaster um, life from the battlefields of World War One to the United States back to Paris where he was pra where he was working in a in a rundown his own rundown personal practice. And he, just his views on, his disgust on life around him at that time, his revolt. And this is a novel that everyone, everyone who likes to read a good book, everyone who likes to read something and, and, and just think, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the way, I, you know, you can identify with this on so many levels. If you, you know, if you've ever looked around yourself at a certain time in your life and thought, what in the name of God? And you, you know, you, this for me was food for the soul. Okay, for his first novel, this was this was a home run. Okay, Louis Ferdinand Celine, the novelist, the author, the madman. You can see how this man inspired the likes of Henry Miller and the Beat Generation because he really did lay down the the, the blueprint and the groundwork to how you should write a novel that's full of revolt, satire, and misanthropic views of what you see going on around you. Okay, if you're gonna pick it up, pick up the pick up the version with the handprint on the front of the cover, as you can see here, and the afterword by William T. Volman, because it's even worth getting the book for the afterword alone. Louis Ferdinand Celine, Journey to the End of the Night, his first novel, an absolute barn burner of a novel. Okay, that's all. I mean, if I was, you can spend all day trying to define this book and this novel and you can you can write a, a thesis on it if you want to but I'm just all I can say is pick it up for yourself draw your own conclusions 
you know, put down your C.S. Lewis, pick up your Lewis Ferdinand Celine, and just in honour of, of the boss man himself, I'm just going to leave you with a little bit of Charles Trinney. La pendule fait tic tac tic tic, les oiseaux du lac pic pac pic pic, glou 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 font tous les tintons, et la jolie cloche ding ding dong, mais boum, quand le cœur fait 